the line marching, extending to the right, the left marker file carry on forward, and as the gaps grow to approximately six feet, the rear man of each file shouts forward. If light infantry are caught in the open and cavalry attack, the only defence is to form a rallying orb. The orb is formed as men throw themselves in and the orb will get bigger. It was impossible for light infantry to form squares because in extended order the squares were meaningless. A full battalion at 200 yards long would send out the light company from the left flank. They would extend across the front of the battalion move forward and look for any skirmishes or enemy activity to the front of the battalion. The battalion would follow from behind at the ordinary pace of 75 paces to the minute while the skirmish line moved forward searching for the enemy. If the enemy was found the battalion would fire a volley at which case the bugle would sound the order to lie down and the skirmish line at the front of the battalion would immediately lie down and take cover. This would allow the battalion form behind to fire a volley over them and whilst the battalion reloads the skirmishers carry on harassing the enemy. Once the skirmish line is finished the bugles call them in and they reform on the left flank. The enemy at this point is to the right of the screen. Enemy formations are seen now on the right, so the line changes front in an extended wheel fashion so that they are now approaching the camera. To advance firing, the rear rank moves forward some 20 feet or so ahead of the other rank and fires. The front rank then moves forward and covers that rank while they reload. Regulations required that never would one man be loading while the other man fired. There was always one man loaded and covering the man who was reloading. Here you see the line extending to the left as the gaps go to a suitable distance the rear man shouts forward and the line advances. The rear rank moves forward Where there was cover to be gained, light infantry would take cover behind rocks or trees or fences, walls, or if necessary lie down and fire in the prone position. The front rank has now moved forward, checking the man behind until he's loaded. A change front is now carried out on the right flank changing front to the rear, the line moves through 90 degrees. A change front on the left flank to the front, wheeling through 90 degrees. To close the line, 
to the right flank, the men face to their right, trail arms and close. The line is now established. Extending, as you would see it from the front, you can see the left marker marking forward and each five closing and opening as required. When retiring and firing, as each rank fires, they retire 12 paces to the rear. The foremost rank then fires and retires in leapfrog fashion behind the standing rank. Now closing to the right. And reform the line. And thank you for watching.